let me get back to the original circuit. What was the differential equation governing this in terms of this Vc? By the way, I could have written the differential equation in terms of some other variable. Okay, let us say the current IC or the voltage Vr and so on. What will you get in that case? Please do that. Please derive the differential equation with IC or Vr as variables and compare it to what I am going to work out. By the way, the differential equation for this Vc was, what was it? Okay, so that is what it was. This is the differential equation governing the circuit when it is written in terms of Vc, the capacitor voltage. Now, let us write the differential equation for the circuit in terms of uh, other possible variables such as the voltage across the resistor Vr or the current through the capacitor Ic. Okay. So, we see that Vr is nothing but Vs minus Vc. Okay. So, this comes from Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, then um, from this we see that Vc is Vs minus Vr. So, now differentiating uh, both sides, what we will get is that the derivative of V c equals the derivative of V s minus the derivative of V r. Okay? And substituting these two relationships into that one, we get the following R c times that plus sorry d v r by d t plus v s minus v r equals v s. So, this if you rearrange the terms, you will see that it is r c times d v r by d t plus v r equals r c times the time derivative of v s. Okay, and if we do know that uh, V s is a constant, we will get R c times d V r by d t plus V r equals zero. Okay, so this is if you know that V s is a constant. Okay, so the important thing to note is that the left hand side of that and the left hand side of that are in the same form. Okay. So, the coefficient of first derivative of is R c and coefficient of V r is 1. Okay. Now, we can also, now we can try it in terms of I c and it will be similar. I c is nothing but V s minus V c divided by R and if I write V c, I see that it is V s minus I c times R. So, time derivative of V c is time derivative of V s minus R time derivative of I c. And if I substitute these two in there, what will I get? R c times d V s by d t minus R d I c by d t plus V c, which is V s minus I c times R and on the right hand side, we have V s. Okay? And if you rearrange this, we will end up with R c d I c by d t plus I c equals c times d V s by d t. And again, if V s is known to be a constant, we have R c d I c by d t plus I c equals 0. Okay. Okay. Fine. I have written all three with the variables on the left side and the source on the right side. So, what do you notice about these three differential equations? Anything or no?
left hand side is the exactly the same right the homogeneous parts of the differential equation are the same okay and this is a general property of any circuit now it's not that earlier we found the solution for the capacitor voltage as uh, vs plus vc of 0 minus vs exponential minus t by rc okay now if you look at this the left hand side is exactly the same so that means that the homogeneous parts of everything is the same so all of them whether uh, vc will be something times exponential minus t by rc that is the homogeneous solution to vc and similarly ic will also be the same way and vr will also be the same way okay these are the natural responses or transient response or the homogeneous solution now this is a general property of any circuit okay and this is nothing to do with the first order differential equation either okay so if you have uh, it turns out that for higher orders you will get combinations of exponentials so this uh, just like we have one time constant here for higher order equations you will have multiple time constants and multiple exponentials so the natural response of any variable in the circuit whether it's any current or voltage will be exactly the same okay so you don't have to if i had asked you for the current in this loop or the voltage across the resistor you don't have to solve for the circuit again okay the solution will be in exactly the same form and also now for piecewise constant inputs everything will also have the same form okay we see we already know we will elaborate on this a little vc of 0 minus vs okay and ic will be basically the final value which i'll write as ic of infinity plus ic of 0 minus ic of infinity this is the general form right the initial minus final value decaying off with a time constant rc okay and finally the vr also will be the same vr of infinity which is the final value plus the difference between initial and final values times exponential minus t by rc they'll all have the same time constant okay so you should be able to work out uh, the solution for any variable in the circuit in any complicated circuit 